Hi, and thank you for joining me. I'm really excited that you're interested in learning about how much it would cost to sell your house. Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kathy Salmon and I'm a real estate agent at Easy Home Search Real Estate in Fall River, Mass. And I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about how much it would cost to sell your house. If this is your first time watching my channel and you like what you see after watching this video, please hit the subscribe button and click that bell for notifications. So how much does it cost to sell your house? Assuming that you're going to hire a real estate agent, these are the typical expenses that you would incur. First, you're going to pay the commission to the real estate agents involved in the transaction. You hire a sales agent and you agree to pay X percentage of the sale price of the house. When the buyer comes along and if a different agent represents them, then your agent pays that agent. In this case, the seller's agent does not keep the entire commission. It's split with another broker. Second, you'll have to pay the property taxes for the time you lived in the house. After the property changes hands, that buyer is now responsible for the taxes. If you've paid your taxes for the entire year, then from the date of the closing to the remainder of the fiscal year, you'll get a rebate because you've paid the taxes. Third, sometimes you might be asked to pay the closing costs for the buyer. There are a lot of first time home buyers out there that do not have enough money to put down so they may ask you to chip in, let's say, $3,000 towards the closing cost. Also, sometimes the buyer may ask for a home warranty. What is a home warranty? Let's say the buyer's moved in and in the middle of cooking dinner, the stove breaks. The home warranty service will come and if they can't repair it, the home warranty service will buy them a new stove. This just helps the buyer ensure that they're not going to see any unforeseen expenses the first year that they're in the house. Home warranty is typically around $500. Now, if you decide to sell the house yourself, you'll not be paying a real estate commission. Instead, you'll be paying for all the marketing of your home. Keep in mind just putting a sale by owner sign in front of the house is probably not going to get the job done. Something to keep in mind is that the people that are considering a for sale by owner home are looking for a great deal. So they will more often than not offer you far less than the actual market value of your home. This is actually pretty typical. In addition, the potential buyer knows that you're not paying a fee to a broker and will oftentimes deduct that fee from their offer amount. So the question then becomes, do you pay a fee to the buyer and do all the work yourself? Or do you hire a real estate professional and let them do all the work for you? Oh, and you'll also wanna make sure that you present your home in the best possible light. So you wanna get professional photography, interior, exterior, and drone. And then there is the advertising of the home. At the very least, you wanna be sure that you're found on all the major real estate related websites with clear instructions on how to contact you to schedule showings. Keep in mind that buyers don't wanna to have to guess on how to see your home. Last, you'll be responsible for the showing of the house each time someone's interested in seeing it. So the money you save in the commission, you will pay on the other end with your marketing and your time. This will be all on you because you don't have an agent that's doing all this for you. Now, other fees include the attorney fee to prepare the deed. That fee could typically run anywhere from 450 to 800 depending on the attorney. Also, the cost to install smoke and carbon detectors and obtain a certificate of compliance from the local fire department. Typically that runs between 200 and 1,000 depending on the number of detectors needed in the house. The last fee are the tax stamps. In Massachusetts, the average cost is $4.56 per 1,000 for the sale of the home. So for example, if you're selling your home for 500,000, the transfer of taxes would be $2,280. And in Rhode Island, it's $2.30 per 500. Oh, and when you're getting ready to head to the closing table, don't forget to pay off statements from your lien holders. You'll also need to make sure you take care of any final utility invoices. You don't want to be stuck at the last minute unprepared. So now you have an idea as to what the cost to sell your home is. Now do you know what your home is valued at? See, it's not enough just to go by what the house down the street sold for or what your friends and neighbors think it would sell for. Getting an accurate comparative marketing analysis is critical when determining what your home could sell for. This is where I can help. 
Are you familiar with the highest price analysis? Well, it's an aerial view of current market conditions. That is, what is currently on the market, your competition, what is currently under agreement, homeowners who've had success, and what has sold which is what buyers are willing to pay. With the highest price analysis, you can be sure that you won't undersell your home and potentially leave a small fortune on the table. So if you're thinking of selling, click the link below and I'll be more than happy to prepare a high price analysis for you free. In addition, I'll also provide you with an estimate of net where we will review your cost to sell. This way you can be sure that you have the proceeds you need to move forward with your plans. So I want to thank you for watching this video on how much you'll get when you sell your house. Please click the subscribe button below and I'll see you at the next video.